this video, we'll be introducing you to a neat trick to make any conversion question much easier. Converting quickly and easily between meters and kilometers or grams and milligrams can be a useful life skill too. Just another reason to love conversions. Our objectives for this video are to teach you the basic conversions to memorize and show you how to convert between units quickly and easily. We recommend you fully memorize the following unit conversions. The UCAT will assume you have basic knowledge of these and even if they sometimes help you out by providing the unit conversion, you still don't want to have to keep looking back at it. So without further ado, one kilometer equals 1000 meters. One meter equals 100 centimeters. One centimeter equals 10 millimeters. One mile equals 1.6 kilometers. One kilogram equals 1,000 grams. One gram equals 1,000 milligrams. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters. This does not mean there aren't a hundred other units out there, but these are the ones worth memorizing. Now, how do we convert between these units quickly? What is 500 meters in centimeters, for example? The trick is to first write out the relevant conversion. To convert 500 meters into centimeters, First, simply write one meter equals 100 centimeters. Keep the one unit on the left for consistency. Write one meter equals 100 centimeter rather than 100 centimeter equal one meter. Write one kilometer equals 1000 meters rather than 1000 meters equals one kilometer. Now you just need to remember that. To go from left to right, you multiply by the conversion rate, which is just the number on the right. To go from right to left, you divide by the conversion rate. In this example, to go from meters to centimeters, left to right, we multiply by 100. To go from centimeters to meters, right to left, we divide by 100. Left to right, multiply, right to left, divide. We want to go from 500 meters to centimeters, which is left to right, so we multiply by 100. 500 times 100 equals 50,000. 500 meters equals 50,000 centimeters. That doesn't seem too bad, right? Let's do another example. What is 400 kilometers in miles? Write the conversion, keeping the single units on the left. One mile equals 1.6 kilometers. Ask yourself, if you're going from miles to kilometers, the left of the conversion to the right of the conversion, or from kilometers to miles, right to left, here we are converting kilometers to miles, so we are going right to left. Right to left means divide. Divide by the conversion rate, which is just the number on the right. 400 kilometers divided by 1.6 equals 250. Your answer equals 250 miles. Sometimes the UCAT will be harsh and give you a new conversion when neither of the units are one. This requires an extra step, but don't be put off. The rest of the process is exactly the same. The UCAT may tell you that 2.47 acres equals 10,000 meters squared. Don't despair. Instead, simply divide both sides by the number on the left to get back to our very familiar unit conversions. 2.47 acres equals 10,000 meters squared. Divide both sides by 2.47, which is the number on the left. One acre equals 4,048.583 meters squared. Then you can proceed as normal. Let's give you an example to practice right now. If $2.59 equals two pounds, what is £15.68 in dollars. We can keep the conversion in the same order as given. $2.59 equals two pounds. Divide both sides by $2.59. $1 equals 0.7722 pounds. Don't round too much as we want our answer to be quite accurate. We now need to convert the 15.68 pounds into dollars. Are we going from left to right or right to left? We're going from right to left, pounds to dollars, this means we divide by the conversion rate. 15 pounds 68 pence divided by 0 0.7722 equals $20.31. This is the correct answer. Now try these questions. Question one, the answer was A. This is a classic currency conversion question made a little difficult by the need to make two conversions. First, we need to convert 500 pounds into rupees, knowing that one pound equals 92 rupees. We're going from pounds to rupees from left to right, so we multiply the conversion rate. 
500 times 92 equals 46,000. She gets 46,000 rupees. Amira then spends 32,000. 46,000 minus 32,000 equals 14,000. She has 14,000 rupees left that she wishes to convert to dollars. This time we know that one dollar equals 71 rupees. We are converting from rupees to dollars, so from right to left. So we divide by the conversion rate. 14,000 divided by 71 equals 197.18. Question two, the answer is E. Product one in year four weighed six kilograms. This increases by 350 grams. From memory, you should know that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. To go from grams to kilograms, we go from right to left, so we divide. 350 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.35. Therefore, 350 grams equals 0 0.35 kg. You may have also realized this instinctively from experience. Product 1 now weighs 6.35 kilograms in year 5. Product 3 in year 4 weighed 5 kilograms. This decreases by 1,500 grams. 1,500 divided by 1,000 equals 1 1.5. Therefore, 1,500 grams equals 1 1.5 kilograms. Product 3 weighs 3.5 kilograms in year 5. 6.35 minus 3.5 equals 2.85. For question three, the answer is B. First, we must convert meters to centimeters. Later, we will convert centimeters to inches. We know that one meter equals 100 centimeters. Therefore, 1.5 meters equals 150 centimeters, and three meters equals 300 centimeters. And how do we convert centimeters to inches if we know that two inches equals 5.08 centimeters? First, simplify the conversion by dividing by two on both sides. 2 inches equals 5.08 centimeters, 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Now follow the normal steps. To convert centimeters to inches, for example, 150 centimeters into inches, we're going to go from right to left. So we divide. 150 divided by 2.54 equals 59.055. We need to be accurate as the answer choices are close together. 300 divided by 2.54 equals 118.110. If Christina's rug measures 59.055 by 118.110, its area is 59.055 times 118.110, which equals 6974.98605 or 6974.99. This was quite a lot of learning and practice, we hope you agree, but it all came down to the same simple steps repeated again and again. We hope you now feel much more confident with even the toughest of conversion questions. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.